I'm Tim Holman, I'm working for TUSEC, where I'm the CEO and founder. I took a degree in environmental science about, about 25 years ago, um, but when I graduated I couldn't really find any work uh, in environmental related stuff. Um, converted to now where the environment's obviously quite, quite booming. Um, so I kind of fell into security in my first job, which was actually at IBM, where, where we are now. Uh, I worked there for a few years, learning the ins and outs of OS2, OS2 LAN server, and turn all that move to NT, Windows NT, and learn how to secure that. Um, but obviously one of my favorite things for doing at that point was, was trying to break it. To be honest, there's so many different challenges I get on a daily basis, be it, be it um, clients who've just been, been breached that we have to deal with, uh, maybe some comp more complex projects I might have to get involved with. Uh, I think so as, a, as, a, as a company, um, staff are a key asset, so obviously it's um, usually staff, staff to deal with, keep them motivated, keep them happy. I think research and resources, there's a lot out there. I think the main, the main challenge is knowing where to look. Obviously you can, you can, Google, you can Google stuff and you know, be, be led by Google on the way, but I think the best way to learn is through networking. So meeting up with peers, um, coming to you know, events like, like the Crest one today, um, and just having a having a chat with with, uh, with peers over over a beer really, and I think that's usually the best way to keep connected. I don't think there's a there's an easy route into cyber. It's it's a challenging job, but at the end of the day, it's quite rewarding. Every day is different. It's very interesting. Um, the pay pay is not too bad. I think the, the key bit of advice is to get stuck in and find a way to get involved. Yeah. So my presentation today is really to focus around what organisations are doing wrong and how they can do better with respect to cyber breaches. And the case studies I was, I was running with really focusing on really simple issues that companies are getting wrong, like using the same password on multiple systems and multiple sensitive systems, so making it really easy for hackers to laterally move into, within an organisation once they're in. Stuff like lack of patching, people patching only Microsoft systems and ignoring the rest. The whole purpose of today was to talk around sort of threat intelligence, but I think threat intel is, is a very advanced concept when dealing with your average Joe blogs. The one takeaway is just focus on, focus on the basics first before going out and grabbing the latest threat intel solution, because that's, that's just going to cover up what you've already got, not quite got right.